Hello and welcome to DevWave Diaries. If you're ready to level up your web design skills, you've come to the perfect place. In today's video, I'll show you how to create this card hover animation to create visually stunning, interactive designs. Let's get into it. First, create a div with the class name container. Inside this container, add a div with the class name card. Within the card div, create another div with the class name image box. Next, add a div with the class name content. Inside this content div, include an h3 tag and write any text you prefer, such as new design. Following that, add a p tag and insert placeholder text using lorem ipsum, but remove some of the extra text to keep it concise. Next, inside the image box div, let's add a CSS variable. Use the style attribute and define the variable img. For its value, set it to URL, leaving the URL empty for now. We will add the image link inside it later. Here the img is a CSS variable, which we will use later in the CSS. And its value is URL, where we will add the image link at a later stage. Now, copy and paste the card div two more times. You can do this quickly by selecting the card div and using the shortcut Alt plus Shift plus down arrow. This will duplicate the card div below the original one. This completes all the HTML code required for the animation. Now, let's move on to writing the CSS code to style. Let's start by creating a CSS boilerplate code. Set the margin to zero, remove any padding, and apply box sizing, border box so that padding and borders are included within the element's width and height. We'll also set the font family to sans serif to give the page a modern, clean look. Next, let's add styles to the HTML and body elements. Set the width and height to 100% to ensure they take up the entire viewport. Then, set the background color to hash 111 for a dark theme. Now, let's style the container div. Set its width to 100% and height to 100vh to make it take up the entire viewport. Use display, flex to arrange its child elements in a flexible layout. Apply justify content, center to center the content horizontally, and align items, center to center it vertically. Lastly, set a gap of 4rem between the elements to provide some space between them. Next, let's style the card div. Set its position to relative so that we can position elements inside it relative to the card itself. Set the width and height to 18rem to define the size of the card. Apply a background color of hash FFF for a clean, white appearance and use border radius, 40 pixel to give the card rounded corners for a softer look. Open the browser, you'll see three white card shapes. Each with a size of 18rem by 18rem. After that, let's add transition to 0.5 second to smoothly animate changes when hovering. Use overflow, hidden to ensure that any content outside the card's boundaries is hidden. Finally, set cursor, pointer to give a visual cue that the card is clickable. Next, let's add a hover effect for the card. When the card is hovered, set its height to 26 rem to make it expand. This will create a smooth scaling effect, giving the card an interactive feel. Now, let's style the image box div. Set its position to relative to position any inner elements accordingly. Set the width to 100% so it takes up the full width of the card, and set the height to 16rem to define its size. Apply a background color of hash 555 to give it a dark, contrasting look. Open the browser, you will see the structure of the card properly displayed. When we hover its height changes. Next, let's create a before pseudo element for the image box div. Set its position to absolute so that it can be positioned relative to the image box div. Set the content property to an empty string to generate the pseudo element. Define its width as 100% and height as 4rem to make it span the full width of the image box while having a height of 4rem. Apply a border radius of 40 pixel to match the rounded corners of the card, and set the background color to hash FFF to give it a clean, white appearance. 
Open the browser, you'll see the before pseudo element positioned at the top of the image box div. Now, add bottom 0 to the before pseudo element. This will position it at the bottom of the image box div instead of the top. Next, open the browser's inspect window and select the image box. From there, choose the before pseudo element. In the CSS panel, locate the bottom, zero style and change it to bottom, minus one or EM. Use the down arrow key on your keyboard to adjust the position and get an accurate value for where you want the pseudo element to appear. This will help you fine tune the positioning of the before element within the image box. Now, change the bottom, zero style to bottom, minus two or EM for the before pseudo element. Next, let's create a after pseudo element for the image box div. Set its position to absolute to position it relative to the image box. Set the content property to an empty string. Define the width and height as 4 rem to make it a square. Apply a background color of yellow. Use border radius, 50% to make the pseudo element circular. This will create a small yellow circle positioned inside the image box. Now, let's add right, zero and bottom, two or em to the after pseudo element. This will place the yellow circle exactly at two or em above the bottom edge of the image box. Next, add a box shadow to the after pseudo element with the following values, 10 pixel 10 pixel 0 40 pixel hash FFF. This will create a large, white shadow around the yellow circle. Now, open the inspect window, select the image box div, and choose the after pseudo element. In the CSS panel, locate the box shadow style and use the up arrow key on your keyboard to adjust its value. As you increase the values, you'll notice the shadow expands, helping create a circular design with a glowing effect. Fine tuning the box shadow will allow you to achieve the desired look for the design. This is the box shadow value I am going to use. Now, let's copy it to use in our design. Now, paste the copied box shadow value into the after pseudo element. Next, change the background color from yellow to transparent. This will remove the yellow color, and thanks to the box shadow, the circular design will still be visible. Creating a neat, circular shape without any fill color. Now, let's design the content div. Set its position to relative so we can position it accordingly within the card. Apply top, minus 1 or EM to move it slightly upwards. Add padding of 0 30 pixel for some horizontal spacing inside the content div. Set the transition to 0.5 second for smooth animations when properties change. Finally, apply Z index, 1 to ensure it sits above other elements. Next, let's style the h3 tag inside the content div. Set its font size to 1.2 rem for a moderate size, and apply a color of hash 333 to give it a dark, readable tone that contrasts well with the background. Now, style the p tag inside the content div. Set its margin top to 1 rem to create some space between the h3 tag and the paragraph. Also, apply a transition of 0.5 second for smooth changes when any styles are altered, such as on hover or other interactions. After that, set the opacity of the p tag to zero. This will make the text inside the paragraph invisible. Next, add a style for the p tag when the card is hovered. Set its opacity to one, making the paragraph text fully visible when the user hovers over the card. This creates a smooth transition effect from invisible to visible, making the text appear as part of the hover interaction. Now it's time to add images inside the card. First, go back to the HTML code. In the CSS variable section where we set URL, add any image you like. As you can see, I've already added all the image links inside the URL. If you want to use the same images I'm using, check the video description where I'll share the GitHub link. Now, inside the image box style, add background image, var, img, where img is the CSS variable holding the image URL. Also, set background position, center to ensure the image is centered within the image box, and use background size, 
100% to make the image cover the entire area of the image box. Open the browser, you'll see all the images added to the cards. Each image box will display the respective image as its background. Next, add transition, 0.5 second and filter, blur, 3 pixel, to the image box. This will apply a smooth transition effect to any changes made to the image box, and initially, it will blur the images by 3 pixels, giving them a soft, blurred look. Now, add a style for the image box div when the card is hovered. Set filter, none to remove the blur effect. Set background size, 110% to slightly zoom in the image, making it look more focused and dynamic when the user hovers over the card. This will create a smooth transition from the blurred, smaller image to a clearer, slightly zoomed in version. Finally, we have created a beautiful card design with an information showing animation on hover. If you enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful, please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to stay updated with all our latest content. Your support helps us create more exciting and valuable videos. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next episode of DevWave Diaries.